Hi everybody, Tito Don here. This is a little out of the or unordinary because this isn't really a farm video. This is American energy independence is what we need in this country. Now you can see here, this pump jack is what brings the oil out of the ground. This one is on a timer, so it just shut off. And if you pan over here, this is fresh water. And this is what they use. They, they pump it down a hole, down through pipes that go into the wellhead. Because the wells here, when they drill, they're drilling into shale. And it's a majority of these locations, they're going two miles straight down. And then they, they curve the bit and they'll go two, about two miles horizontal through the shale. And there's a certain process where they go down and they frack it, they call it, and that's cracking the shale so that the water flows. Now you can see this small white tank is chemicals. And this is part of what I used to do when I was working up here. The chemicals actually get sent through into the fresh water that goes downhole because it could be a biocide, it could be a corrosion inhibitor, a scale inhibitor, combination of chemicals that they send down the hole to keep the well running. Now over here, you can see them two stacks that are back there, that's called a treater shack. The oil will come out of the wellhead and it'll be piped into these shacks over here and it heats it up to give or take 190 degrees. And what that does is it separates the water out of the oil because water is heavier than oil. And then the oil will be sent into most of these tanks over here. And these are 400 barrel upright tanks. So they'll come in and they'll, they'll, turn, they'll open them up so that they can flow the oil into each individual tank. But the first tank or two, considering this is a multi-well pad storage location, that is produced water. There's always water that comes up out of the ground with the oil. It could be fresh water. It could be water that's down already in the hole from when they frack. Now, there are hundreds and hundreds of wells here in North Dakota and they produce well over a million barrels a day. Yes, that's one million barrels a day. And some of it goes directly to a pipeline and some of it gets trucked out of here where they take it to a LAC unit, which is a unit that pumps the oil in through the, into the pipeline. Now behind us, this is a multi-well pad that you can see. So there's a lot of tanks, a lot of treater shacks, and all these wells go all over in different directions. They all go two miles down, but they don't all go into the same, same shale. They are scattered around almost like in a circle. So with the amount of oil that comes out of North Dakota, a million barrels a day, why are we not energy independent? How come that all changed? Why do we have to go buy foreign oil when the oil is here? This is the Bakken region of North Dakota. So they've got a Bakken formation, which is so far down. And then there's one called Three Forks Formation, which is further down. There's no effect on groundwater here. They've got pipeline going underneath the Missouri River. There's no leaking of pipes around here. So we need to be more energy independent. This is going to bring the gas prices down. Look at what they were a couple of years ago. Oil prices might be up, but that's because of what's happening in the world. If we became energy independent, we're, we were the number one supplier of natural gas because these well locations all have natural gas that comes out of the ground. That's why they call it natural. It's natural. And that gets piped all over the country here. And we were at the point where we were exporting natural gas. And all that's come to a stop. So we need to become more energy independent and not have to go to the Saudis or Venezuela or Iran or Russia to buy our oil. When we can supply ourselves and we, and we can actually ship oil out, we can export our own oil to other countries that need it. 
So that's my little grieve. That's my little problem that I have as far as oil. So you all have a good day. We'll see you again.